Mickey and I, well, Mickey brought to my attention this video the other day and it is very ironic to see this like this is like the end of the world this is like we live on this and this is all this is just well I just thought that was quite amazing this big hole underneath uh, it's drawn a little bit of attention the video but it is quite amazing to see that I think it's all mining um, but there's something else here Ireland Northern England and Scotland so that's where the islands are. They all have many, many miles of just stone walls and fields. Hundreds of them. So that's that one. It's quite amazing, isn't it? This is the second island. There's more islands there. There's about five of them. Two of them don't seem to have uh, the fields with stone walls on them, but these two do. And then this is the island with the mining on it. I call it mining because I don't know what else it is. Obviously, I think a few people live on that island. It's all full of these stone walls. Those are all the stone walls. They're all over the island. So what it was is, when I was making this video, and we did look at this part of it and thought, wow, look at all that. Another channel called Rebel Without a Pause made a video did quite a lot of work on stone walls this is this next part of the video is in part two so if you want to go and see the whole thing go over to his channel and watch the videos so uh, that to me looks like mining again some kind of mining happened there anyway we're going to go on oh and these are the other two islands and they don't have anything on them that's one of them and the one before. They don't have any, um, seem to have any walls on them, but three of the islands do. They're absolutely covered. And other places are like this in England, but not southern England, not most of England, just the very north bit, Scotland and Ireland. So let's move on and watch Rebel Without a, a Pause. Let's watch the video, or a little bit of the video. This bit comes from part two, but he made part one and part two, so go over to his channel and watch both parts if you're very interested. The next island is from a suggestion from Jim Dillinger from the previous video. And he suggested that go down here. And have a look. Good call, mate. And we'll be down to go away, babe. And then there's three islands here. Well, I'm in bloody mind. Why don't you see? It's <laughs> all these islands. This is all nice to walks. That's the smallest of the islands. There's the next one. Look, we up. And you can see it's just the exact same. That's the two small islands. This is the larger of all the islands. And just look at the walls that's here. 
So, somebody tell me this is for, for livestock. How, how would you possibly have this for livestock? That makes absolutely no sense. However, when you mention grid, that makes more sense. So, do I know how, how many miles there is? One thousand five hundred miles of walls on those islands. So, yeah, slideshow to a better look. So again you can see there's lots and lots of walls here and we'll measure it and see how much tonnage there is. There's certainly no shortage of walls, that's for sure. This is this is incredible. This is three small islands. Who who done this and when? How many people? How long did it take? How the f see? How did this? When? Why? It's everywhere. The entire island is covered with dry stone walls. So what's that all about? And again they're a different style to the ones in Yorkshire. But they're dry stone walls nevertheless. So as far as I'm concerned, they qualify. So, what the f That's some Right. Each mile has 1,760 yards. Each yard represents a ton. Multiplied by the one thousand five hundred miles, which gets us over two and a half million tons of stone was moved around those three tiny islands. Who do you think done that then? How long did that take? Who fed them? Clothed them? The logistics? Mind blown. Well, thanks for watching. Please comment.